Hi guys, Roman here with another video animator. In today's video, we're going to actually build a simple publish, subscribe, client and go, um, which can publish a message, subscribe and receive a message back, right? And we're going to use a local broker to do so, not a uh, cloud broker, right? So first thing to do is we have this config, which that's actually not uh, usable as we don't have a license key, right? Pretty simple config. Uh, let's start by actually generating a license for this. So when you start the meter um, by itself without any configuration, uh, so it will use this emitter conf by default, but it doesn't have the key, we'll generate a new key, right? So we take this license key, we just generate it, uh, we paste it here, right? Uh, and that's important. That's uh, we. That license key contains a crypto key, which allows you to uh, decrypt channels. And it also created a secret key, right? Secret key uh, is really important for us because that will allow us to create channel keys. Like in Ether, everything, every publish and every subscribe will need a channel key, right? Because everything by default is secure. Um, so let's start and let's actually create a client. Let's create a main.go package main. Right, so that's our go package. Let's uh, initialize the module. Right, I'm using go modules. So while this is working, let's look at um, our go client. So if you want to use a meter for go away, we provide a nice, um, simple uh, client, uh, but you can use any MQTT client with a meter, in fact. So we need to import this package, right? So one thing to do is to import this package and we will need to um, go get this package, right? Um, all right, so while this is done, Next thing, next thing we need, we need actually key, right? How do we publish and subscribe to to channel? So what you can do is you can open a browser. Well, first start uh, start a server. Have this secret key somewhere, right? Let's uh, save the secret key. Don't actually do it in production. Don't save your key in the code for this example. So, given the secret key, you can now generate. Um, you can generate um, channel keys, right? So you can go on and open the browser and go to 127.001. So if I'm running locally, slash keygen, right? That will not work because I haven't actually started the broker. So yeah, unable to connect. So if you start the broker as well, um, so in our case, we just start the meter config, right? Now we started the broker with that license key. Uh, we open up again, we refresh. Now we have this page. Uh, this page actually allows to generate a key. So if you paste your secret key, you can now generate a channel key. So a channel key is generated for a particular name or a particular wildcard, right? So you can actually generate a channel key for a sub channel or an expression of sub channels or something like that. So what we can do is we can say, we just want the one channel and one key for the whole channel, right? So the easiest way of doing this is um, like so, uh, demo, and this is MQTT wildcards. I mean, everything um, after demo will uh, will be able to access. And now what do we want to access? Well, we want to allow read, subscribe, or an allowed write, right? In our case, we can just create one channel key, which does both. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, we generate a new key, and that key we can actually use in our code, right? Because that key only can access this channel and only can, well, can do only the operations it's allowed to do, right? You can, uh, freely embed the key, right? So I have our key, and let's go our 
page how to actually use this library. So first thing we need to do, we need to create some options. Emitter, uh, new client options. Right, we're also going to use our broker. So something we have is add broker. Right, where our broker lives, it's local and port 8080, right? We also need to attach a message handler, like in the like in documentation. So this message handler will um, will be called every time we receive a message. Right, message handler. Let's actually create a message handler um, on message, which takes a client. Message, right? So it takes a client and like gets a message. Um, we use uh, we can print. Message. Is percent V? And there's a payload function, right? All right. Now we can hook that message. Handler. Right, so every time we receive a message, we'll just call this function and get the message pane uh, contents. Actually, we can print a, a channel as well. Right, we have a topic and we have payload. Let's do this. Right. Okay. Now we need to connect. So a client, we need a new client, which takes some options. All right. Uh, now uh, this Go library also returns a token when you have, uh, you have to wait on if you want to have synchronous. And by default, that's actually async. Um, so we can have a token client.connect, right? So we're gonna connect to the broker and Let's create a function, wait, um, uh, emitter token, right? We're just wait, we're gonna wait for a token, right? That's, and then if after waiting, we got an error, we're gonna panic. Right, so that's our kind of a helper function. So I'm gonna wait on connection. And then we are going to wait uh, on subscription. So subscribe takes a channel key, right? And then takes a topic. In our case, it's demo, right? Then we're also gonna publish. Again, we can use the same channel key because it allows us to subscribe and to publish uh, on demo. And let's so hello emitter, right? So that's pretty much it. Connect, subscribe, and publish. Now, we need to wait a bit uh, before closing down and let's actually create a, a infinite for loop, right? Because if we publish, uh, there'll be network, uh, like networking involved, M might have um, successfully published, but if you don't actually wait for a message to be received, we'll not see anything, right? So let's do this, and that should work. Now, we have a broker running, Let's try and run this, right? All right, so we got a message, but that's binary, so it's not very useful. Uh, let's do percent %s to actually cast it as a string, right? Now, we received the message, hello meter, right? So we connected successfully, you can see it in here in the broker, 
we uh, subscribe to the message and publish the message, um, receive it back. So if I run uh, another version of that, uh, right, uh, I'm just gonna run the same program again. I watch carefully. Now this received message and also this one, right? Basically, because this was not closed and it's still subscribed and still listening on on demo, right? So I continue creating new ones. This receives messages, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you use a meter. So please subscribe. Uh, in the future, I'll also continue publishing more videos on the meter. We'll also talk about how do you configure uh, storage. Uh, kind of very common. Uh, very common question, how do you uh, configure um, security? So HTTPS, TSL, TSL, and things like that. And please let me know if you're interested in something else as well. Uh, I'll be happy to do more videos about that. Thank you.